Hello, I'm Barry Fox and I made all of these. Well, I, I try not to get like inspiration on purpose by like, reading other art books or going to other exhibitions. I just prefer to let things happen naturally, like the natural flow of ideas based on the things I experience and using the experiences that I've had in the past with certain things, with certain people, discussing ideas with certain people, and then just let them like sort of flow naturally. So just from my own mind. With these I'm trying to meld a few different art forms together. I've uh, been getting into writing recently and writing poems. So behind here you've got a little miniature CD player which you can't see. Headphones coming out of the hole there. And then a little shelf with a, a chair on. So this one's going to be just a, an information piece of art about chairs. It's just a bit of a laugh, just having a pointless piece of art about chairs when most people know what chairs are about. Well, when I moved to Newcastle about three years ago, like one reason for moving over here was to like take art a bit more seriously, even though it's not that serious, like some, some say, um, rather than doing it where I used to do it, which was just in a little like spare bedroom with my flat where I used to live. And when I came over here, I just sent out a few like um, emails and CVs to some of the, the studio managers and owners around the region. And then I got a few responses, had a look around and I quite liked this place. This weekend there's an open studio event on the Friday night and Saturday and Sunday through the day. And I think they have them once every six months where the whole venue is open for people to come and have a look around and check things out and just meet new people. Which I find one of the like, most fascinating things about the events because you, you meet strangers, talk about your pieces, talk about what they do, like, meld your ideas together to create new ideas. And also, I've met quite a few like, new, nice, interesting friends at the event, so that's why I like to open the doors to the general public to have a look around. Uh, Barry's work's original. I mean, one of the things that I always noticed, there was an open night here last night, and um, everything else is very tasteful. I can't remember who said it, that taste's the enemy of good art, but Barry's uh, always original and always gets a reaction, whereas most people just float around. Looking at other stuff, Barry's always stops them. Like a friend of mine like, runs this sort of gallery complex in Sunderland. Um, I think it's like part charity-ish organisation, part, I don't know, just a, a gallery complex where people can like, pay for space and, and use the space to create. And I've been over there a few times and it inspired how he himself has set it up from scratch, like getting some funding from local authorities, and like basically creating it, from, creating it from scratch. So I think it's quite relatively new at the moment, but it's got some interesting potential. And it's got, he has a few interesting shows lined up there. I think it's a great idea because I used to live in Sunderland. And you know, I think there's, there are some people in Sunderland who want to do interesting things, but unfortunately, it's, it's quite a minority, and it's, it's hard to get stuff out there and get people to sort of come along to things. Yeah, so I think any anybody who's trying to do something to encourage that more is really good. Be good to like, meld the two places together, like, like Sunderland and Newcastle that is, and like, get artists to meet each other and get ideas to flow between other people's heads, so rather than just like, enclosing Newcastle off and Sunderland off separately, like maybe use this as like a little bridge 
uh, which bridges artists in both of the cities together. Yeah.